Hey everyone, welcome back to Mini Bike Mike's Garage. It's a Saturday morning and I'm waiting on a YouTube subscriber to come pick up this Candy Gold uh, CT70 K0 that we finished up in the last video series. And I thought I would throw another bike on the table and I was trying to figure out, well, what bike do I want to do? You know, what, what have we done? What haven't we done? And so I picked this little red uh, 1979 Honda Z50. And the reason I picked it is because it's somewhat tied to this bike. Um, I'll post a link in, my, in the description of this video, but I think it was back in April of this year, I bought three bikes. There was a red, um, candy red CT70 K0. There was a 98 Z50R, a little white one. And then this bike here. And we did a, a video series and got the candy red ct70 up and running i sold it locally to somebody here uh the close to me and then the white z50 uh was contacted by a guy who had this bike and he wanted the z50 so we did some swapping uh so traded that got rid of that so to kind of finish up that those three bikes that we picked up in that video i think we're gonna work on this today uh like i said it's saturday morning I've got two or three hours before this guy uh, gets here to pick this up. He's on his way. So I thought, you know what? Let's throw this on the table. We've not touched it at all. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll post a link to the video. But all I did was just kind of did a walk around video on it. Have not touched this bike. After that video was posted in April, it got put into storage. And it's been there ever since. So, um, But I thought, you know, let's see if we can at least maybe see if we can get it to spark, get it to fire. And luckily, if, if we're really lucky, maybe we'll even hear it, you know, go putt putt. But we'll see how that goes. Walking around this bike, it's kind of complete. Uh, I'm really not familiar with this model of, of Z50. Uh, I don't collect much that ha do doesn't have the fold down handlebars. So 78 and older is kind of more my wheelhouse. Uh, these I don't really know that much about, but uh, I can guessing it might have had some kind of side cover here maybe a number plate on the front i i don't know uh i don't think it had any kind of lighting on it i know uh, i was gonna guess it's probably missing a chain guard but for the most part the the bones are kind of there really the about the only thing it's missing that i'm concerned about or you know we'll need to work out is the exhaust it doesn't obviously doesn't have any kind of exhaust on it but uh you know, someone's replaced the, the tires at some point, I believe. And it's got decent tread on them. That one's not holding air or it's low on air. Yeah, I don't think it's got any air in it. But it's not bad shape. It's got a little dent right here in the tank. You know, I don't know how far we're going to take this, if we're going to repaint it or just get it up and running. Um, somebody's backyard... Permatext the carb to the intake and the intake to the head. And then I'm not sure this why this yellow tape is on here. This was on here when I got the bike. I guess maybe they're just trying to keep critters from getting in. I, I'm not really 100% sure. And then it's just got a random coil hanging here. I would be surprised if the original coil had two wires. I would have thought it would have been grounded to the frame. See, I think it mounts right here. The original coil did. So. Oh, good. Hey, awesome. There's the other one. Yeah, we've got both of them. The, got the little rubber cushions to hold the tank. That's That's good. Uh, I don't have a I don't have a flashlight to show. It looks dusty, but not super bad. The bottom doesn't look rusted through. Uh, my heat's kicking on, so if you get a little noise. And uh, the other thing, guys, I've I've come down with a cold. Might be able to tell it in my voice. Um, so if you hear me sniffle or cough a little bit, I'm going to try and keep that all to a minimum, but 
if you do hear me, I apologize. So, all right, I'm going to put the camera back in the tripod. Uh, I've got some tools out. I'll start gathering some stuff up. Let's get the stator cover off. You know, that's interesting. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about these bikes, but why does a bike that doesn't have lights need so many wires coming out of the stator? Wouldn't you just need one? Hmm. That's interesting. Learning process for me too. So, all right, guys, let me get you set up in the camera and the tripod and, and we'll fire it right back up. So I took the stator cover off uh, and I'm really glad to see that there's at least a flywheel underneath here. I've, I've taken those off before and not found a flywheel. And the points are opening and closing. It's got, oh, we're dripping something out of the exhaust port. It's got some drag. It almost feels like the drag is on the flywheel itself. Uh, let's pull the spark plug out of it. <laughs> let's take the coil off of it. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, it, it doesn't, the clutch is slipping because it, something's not good there. Yeah, see, it gets to that point and then, ah, that's not good, guys. Uh, where is the... Are we at top dead center and it's got a rust ring? We do feel like I do. I'm sticking a, a screwdriver inside the spark plug hole. I do feel like the piston is at the top. But I'm hearing. I don't know. You guys probably can't hear, but boy, I'm really rubbing something. I I'm going to. Uh, I didn't get my flywheel puller. I don't know why I didn't grab that. So I'm gonna go grab my flywheel puller. Let's uh, let's take take that off. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be tight enough. This is not gonna work. Oh no, it did work, huh? So that's actually kind of scary. That means somebody's probably been in there. All right, I gotta go get the puller. I'll be right back. If you don't have one of these pretty handy little tool and I think they're fairly inexpensive they left hand thread so you're going to go counterclockwise to thread it into the flywheel make sure that the center is backed out far enough and then start screw oh wow that came off so easy yeah we're, we're we've got shavings we're scraping somewhere interesting it looks pretty clean uh, let's see if it I'm curious if it turns over easier now yeah so the the flywheel was what was actually holding this up let's see if it's got any compression yeah I believe it might These are all wires that go up to the kill switch, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Why is the flywheel, why did it have so much drag on it? What was rubbing? Everything looks fine. Flywheel looks all right. Let's try and reinstall it and see what we think. We 
is it hitting that little I think it's rubbing against that little holder for those wires. Yeah, awfully lot of awfully lot of shavings around it. I'm just curious. We're just going to put it back on there now and What I'm doing, there's a keyway, a woodruff key, and then there is a slot in the center hole here. So I gotta line those up, get them in the right spot. There, it slid on. There we go. So the flywheel was digging into that little wire holder bracket. I wouldn't mind having it back on there. They just not have it in there correctly. I'm not a hundred percent sure how which I would assume it goes like that. Yeah, it does, it goes like that. And it almost looks like there's a little bent tab on this side that maybe looks like it goes between the wire and the case right there, but it's not doing that. But if I try and push that in there, then the hole doesn't line up. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a hammer and we're gonna smash that flat. And see how, so what I'm talking about is, uh, that lip right there. I think that's that is, is hitting the case and pushing it back and that's what the that's what's catching the flywheel all right so now it's a couple days later down the road uh, i did not get to the point on saturday to be able to check spark or try and get this thing to run at all uh, i had a couple phone calls then my the guy picking up scott the guy picking up the, the gold ct70 we actually was running about an hour early so he got here a little bit earlier so between all that um I lag where I stopped on it. I was fixing this little tab that holds the uh, the wiring in, and I had just cut the sheath off of the wiring to be able to tell what colors they were because all I had showing was just the tips, and they were so oil soaked I couldn't tell. It looked like I had three different black ones, and I couldn't tell which one, you know, was the uh, was the power for the engine, and. Uh, so that's where I got to Saturday. So today we're going to pick this up and continue to see if we can get this thing to fire. And at this point, let's uh, make sure we can see if it'll start up. So let's see. I'll just go ahead and move you guys. Get you in a position. I still don't really understand why this bike has so many wires on this flywheel on this you know why it has a lighting coil uh, this should be your lighting coil this should be your AC power to uh, to get spark I'll go back and probably try and clean this wrap these wires back up after we uh, get the bike up and running and do some things but for right now I'm just gonna reinstall this just to kind of hold the, the wires away from the flywheel and I I finally determined I believe when I left Saturday I determined that that was the this was the black wire that matched going to the points the same coloring uh, what these do I have no idea we're not going to worry about those. So we're going to concentrate on this wire right here. Uh, let's put the, the flywheel on it. Make sure. Okay, we don't have any drag, so we're good. I did not touch the points, but they looked really, really clean. So we're going to...
hope that, uh, all right, I'm gonna reach across here. We're gonna hope that maybe we got some spark. Oh yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, maybe you could. We'll zoom in right on the top of that case. So this is the wire that I believe is coming from the points. I'm going to spin the engine. See it? Put it some juice. We are ready to find a coil and see if that will then transfer through a coil and to a plug. Uh, I've got, I'm not going to try and use the coil that was on it. Because I think that might be a 12 volt coil. It just it just looks like a 12 volt coil to me. I've got a box. That I keep extra coils and stuff in. Look, I even have it marked. Six volt coils, six volt bulbs. I, I keep all, even though I do a lot of life and swaps, 12 volt stuff, I try and keep a lot of the parts okay there we go i'm sure that's a ct70 coil uh what do i have you guys looking at yeah you're looking at the bike yeah i'm sure this is a ct70 coil but it will work all right feels like i can reach that I put it where the coil goes. I don't think it has a long enough. Uh, barely. We'll try it. So the coil, because it only has one wire, has to be grounded to the frame. And the frame, the paint's missing off of right here from where the uh, where a coil was mounted. originally okay we don't have we don't have a plug uh, let's grab one of our wires with an alligator clip on it if you don't have uh, section of wire with a couple alligator clips on. I'm just going to put this one on the wire so it doesn't ground off. Pretty handy to have around. I just got to make sure that that's making a good connection between those two. It's right on there. Let's try that. All right. This is the plug that was out of the out of the engine. Sorry to bounce you around. Let's try that. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's got good fire. Well, if it's got fire, you know what we have to do next. Let me get this chair out of the way. That carburetor scares me to death of all that stuff on there. I really don't want to touch it. It seems good and solid. Uh, you know what? Let's spray the starting fluid right down the spark plug hole. Give me just a second. Let's find some. Let's do it this way. Oh, that's probably way too much.
Will it reach? Oh, just barely. Just barely. Oh, I thought you would go. Oh, we got fire. It's going through the car, baby. Well, shoot. I really thought it would fire off. Sounds like it wants to. Uh oh, took the nut off. Well, that might be all we get. Like a little more there. Well, what do you think the chances are that we could put gas in that carburetor without taking it off of there? We're going to try it. bottle doesn't have a lot but it's got something in it That's everything that's in the bottle. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if it got any into the bowl at all. Yeah, yeah, it's it's coming out the bowl. So close. It's trying, guys, it's trying. pretty good so I think I'm gonna get some more fuel tinker with it just a little bit more and uh, then we'll wrap this video up and then we will start taking a look at parts and seeing how far we want to take this thing but uh, I'm gonna go get some more fuel to put in that so we can get it run I might throw in find an exhaust and throw on there see if we can get it to run just a little bit longer before this video is up all right, so I found a an exhaust to put on it. I don't like to run it too long without a uh, some kind of exhaust on it. Got an exhaust on it. I got a zip tie holding the spark plug wire away from the exhaust. I have refilled the. I'm gonna put my cap back on it before it falls off. 
I've refilled my little fuel tank here. So hopefully that will push fuel into the carb. Let's see what happens again. That exhaust is plugged. That ain't no good. I wasn't getting anything out of there. I think it was coming out. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, let me back up and punt here. I don't I don't think we're getting any flow out of that exhaust, unfortunately. I changed to a uh, kind of a low-slung SL70 type exhaust. I don't have the right collars in it, so it's still loose, but hopefully that'll be better than nothing. Yeah, you got to have the juice hooked to it. See if I can find a uh, gear shift lever. Let's test the transmission. Sit there, island. Up or down? I don't know. I'm gonna get a stand, put it under, get the, the uh, back end jacked up so we can test the transmission. I think I found neutral with all the way up, but I, I don't know yet. We're gonna try it. assessment of it see uh you know it's got a really bad back fender you know i don't i don't like that so i'll see if i can find another fender the front one looks in good shape i gotta decide whether we're gonna paint it or not but boy 
boy, these bikes are so much fun to play with. And I got to find a, uh, a coil or figure out a better way to mount that one. So anyway, guys, thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hope you enjoy the progress on this bike because I'll do a couple more videos. Everybody have a great day. Thanks.